What's up, y'all? This is Mr. Wilk. I just got a new toy. This is the Kimber Rapid Scorpius in 10 millimeter. So I just want to do a quick review on this gun because I'm going to be doing some work on it. So I want to show you my first impression of it to uh, have it recorded so we can um, go back and review it if we need to. So um, it looks beautiful. It has this uh, stiplex stippling on the front of the uh, front strap. Um, G10 grips, a metal mainspring housing. The finish on it is really nice. Um, these are True Glow. Uh, what are these? The uh, H2, I guess. It's the uh, fiber optic and tritium day and night sights. Front side has a orange ring around the edge. They they chose a lot of good uh, material for this gun, I guess. Uh, it has a GI guide rod, which I actually prefer. Um, great trigger. The only thing that I kind of noticed, let's see if I can get it close up. And this is for Kimber too, for them to, to look at. Um, you can see right here, there's a scratch on, on the slide where the safety sits. And it looks like you can, you can let me see if I can get a light to show that better. I guess it doesn't really help out, but you can see scratches here too which kind of looks like the weak side of the ambi safety was put on with the slide on the frame instead of putting it installing it with the slide off of the frame because when you install these you have to actually rotate it all the way up kind of like an ak when you put a safety in an ak you have it you start it up here and then you rotate it down because it locks on the hammer pin so that's how you get it on there and keep it, and that's how it retains it. So uh, it looks like whoever installed this might have installed it with the slide on, and they scratched the side as they were installing it. So um, that's kind of a pet peeve. But besides that, because <clears throat> it's not really going to matter after I do what I'm going to do to it, um, but besides that, DLC barrel... Um, comes with one magazine. This says it holds eight rounds, but uh, it actually holds nine in here. But uh, just go with what the factory says, I guess, if you want to be safe with your magazine. But it only comes with this one. And of course, I'm going with Wilson Combat for extra mags. Uh, the base plate, this actually is, is um, advertised to hold nine. The base plate on the Kimber mag, the one that came from the factory, is a lot longer. You can see the J&J uh, &J mark on the bottom. There is a patent marking on the follower. And they do match. So I'm not sure who's making these Kimber mags. But it does look kind of comparable to the... Um, the uh, Wilson Combat Mag. It looks pretty similar. So I'm not sure. But I do know that the follower feels a lot grittier in the Kimber Mag compared to the Wilson. You can hear the difference. This one feels a lot smoother. This one feels like it's dry in there. And uh, just, this one just feels a little bit more uh, quality than the Kimber one. But everybody knows that. They know to get Wilson Combat mags whenever they get a 1911. But this is just a quick review to show you what it looks like before I do what I'm going to do to it. And you will see that in the next video. So stay tuned. I'll see you all.